Hello, I'm Bruce Weil, IBM Distinguished Engineer and Powers CAPI Chief Engineer. We're at the IBM Austin Briefing Center recording our CAPI SNAP Education Series. This education series contains everything you need to know to start creating your own accelerator using our developer-friendly CAPI SNAP infrastructure. The modules take you through everything you need to know, starting with an overview process and then walking into the preparation phase and the execution phase. We have hands-on exercises that you can run at your own pace and then augment by creating your own customized acceleration solutions. When a CIO or data center architect makes decisions on what servers to buy, they look at the applications they will run. Fundamentally, they will buy the platform that gives them the best price performance for that application. If an application is tuned for a specific platform, that platform will win. This is a much more granular paradigm compared to the old days when data centers bought servers based on generic benchmarks like SpecInt and SpecFlow. A great example of this is Neo4j, the graph analytics company. They use our base CAPI Flash Accelerator to gain performance and achieve results they could not hit before. As they write on their website, the combination of Neo4j's native graph processing and Power8's in-memory vertical scalability is a natural convergence. Neo4j on Power8 makes it possible to store and process massive scale graphs in real time a problem that was simply unsolvable only yesterday. Yesterday's server architecture no longer scales. Aside from the economics with the fading of Moore's law, we have more data generated every day than we ever dreamed of capturing. All this new data drives requirements on collecting insights, which in turn drives the need for new data structures and compute intensive algorithms, such as machine learning, graph databases, and video analytics. The act of ingesting this much new data is overwhelming for the previous generation server structure. For example, a terabyte of data takes 20 seconds to ingest across a PCIe Gen 3 by 8 interface, but we want answers in milliseconds. At the same time, machine learning algorithms need matrix multiply operations beyond the capability of general purpose computer cores. This is where acceleration changes the paradigm. GPUs and FPGAs provide leverage for the new compute models. FPGAs can filter an order of magnitude more data per second, especially given their high I.O. capabilities and reprogrammability. The era of heterogeneous computing is here, and our power servers support this new paradigm. We have this great infrastructure, second to none, with, with the original CAPI and the NVLink for GPUs, and, and Power9 will have NVLink 2.0, and CAPI 2.0 of our cross PCIe Gen 4, which uh, the, the CX5 chip has taken, uh, taken advantage of, the Mellanox CX5. And then we have OpenCAPI coming. The best heterogeneous compute platform in the world doesn't matter if applications never call for an accelerator. So the key to getting acceleration across the infrastructure is to make it easy for application programmers to embrace acceleration. They're not going to go and write thousands and thousands of lines of VHDL and Verilog which is traditionally what we do on, on FPGAs. So we have to give them a platform in which they can create um, accelerated IP that their applications and they can then call. To address the new compute requirements, IBM's power servers come with the Coherent Accelerator Processor Interface, or CAPI for short. CAPI is more than just a high-speed connection for acceleration enablement. It delivers all of the quality of service that you expect with an IBM server. Start with security. CAPI is integrated 
with the core to prevent access to contexts beyond that of the running application. CAPI also protects from rogue operations that could bring down the server. With CAPI, you also have built-in virtualization so that multiple applications can share an accelerator simultaneously. From a performance standpoint, CAPI's direct command data and control structures bypass the traditional PCIe device driver stack, cutting out 40 times the code path to invoke and communicate with an accelerator. The transparent and open power roadmap has clear leadership in bandwidth and latency for attaching all types of devices. Power 9 and CAPI are market leaders with PCIe Gen 4 followed quickly with open CAPI. The transparent roadmap allows partners to plan ahead and get immediate benefits from the leading edge technology. Finally, the CAPI architecture makes it easier to program accelerators via coherency and virtualized addressing. The accelerator addresses match the application code and allows for data to be shared. With CAPI, the accelerator is another thread running on the server. Beginning with Power 8, our servers introduced a base set of technology for enhanced use of acceleration. This includes FPGAs and ASICs with CAPI, and of course our NVLink GPU bus. We believe that heterogeneous computing will become ubiquitous in data centers, and we are leading this effort with the Open Power and Open CAPI Foundation. Open is key as innovations will come from many partners, and our platform will enable these advancements. With CAPI and now Open CAPI, we have the best FPGA technology available in the industry. We deliver a base set of critical capabilities, server security, address translation, and virtualization, on top of the highest bandwidth and lowest latency with PCIe Gen 4 and then the 25 gigabit per second open CAPI link. The challenge is turning this technology leadership into client value. For that, we need to enable the ecosystem to create accelerated solutions. Remember, in the data center, our clients buy servers to run specific applications, so they look for the server with the best price performance for those applications. If none of their applications call accelerators, then our technology leadership is for naught. On the other hand, if these applications utilize FPGA accelerators, then our power platform will win. And especially in the cognitive realm, many of the underlying algorithms within these applications lend themselves to acceleration. The challenge is to enable ISVs, who predominantly have programming skills, to make the leap to acceleration. To overcome that, OpenPower created the CAPI SNAP toolset specifically for application developers. CAPI SNAP allows programmers to port their code to the CAPI platform and quickly get acceleration results. We are catering to their skill set to ease the jump into FPGAs. It's important to point out that CAPI SNAP is open source. IBM, along with six other Open Power partners, have collaborated on CAPI SNAP and created the infrastructure. We look to the community to drive improvements and define many of our priorities. Hello, my name is Jörg Sjöhn Vogt. I'm from the IBM Germany Development Lab. And I'm the team lead of a team working on FPGA hardware accelerators. I'm here in the Austin Briefing Center uh, to talk about CAPI SNAP framework. The CAPISNAP framework was a collaborative effort from the very beginning, founded by several members from the Open Power Foundation Accelerator Workgroup, such as Ideticom, RecSpace, Reconfigure.io, Xilinx, Nalatech, AlphaData, and certainly IBM uh, from Germany, US, China, and France. FPGAs are traditionally programmed in RTL, 
either VHDL or Verilog, the languages of computer engineers. But there are thousands of programmers for every computer engineer, and our goal is to allow application developers to create FPGA accelerated IP just like a new function or subroutine. The concept here, uh, which actually came about uh, at the Open Power Summit in 2016 in, in April, um, these ideas all kind of coalesced together with, um, uh, with Rackspace and with Nanotech and Alpha Data. Um, Reconfigure.io is in that, IBM, Xilinx, a uh, whole bunch of partners were, were thinking, you know, we have to go after this space of application developers. And uh, the concept was, what if you could program using C, C++ and get your performance and really enable the accelerated action